A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, is anyone among you suffering? He should pray. Is anyone in good spirits? He should sing a song of praise. Is anyone among you sick? He should summon the presbyters of the church, and they should pray over him, and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. The prayer of faith will save the sick person, and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed any sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another, and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The fervent prayer of a righteous person is very powerful. Elijah was a man like us, yet he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and for three years and six months it did not rain upon the land. Elijah prayed again, and the sky gave rain, and the earth produced its fruits. My brothers and sisters, if anyone among you should stray from the truth and someone bring him back, he should know that whoever brings back a sinner from the error of his way will save his soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. Responsorial Psalm Let my prayer come like incense before you. O Lord, to you I call, hasten to me. Hearken to my voice when I call upon you. Let my prayer come like incense before you the lifting up of my hands like the evening sacrifice. Let my prayer come like incense before you. O Lord, set a watch before my mouth, a guard at the door of my lips. For toward you, O God, my Lord, my eyes are turned. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of life. Let my prayer come like incense before you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as this. Amen, I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. Then he embraced the children and blessed them, placing his hands on them. The parents who brought their children to Jesus wanted Jesus to lay his hands upon them. They knew of the healing power, both physical and spiritual, which came from Jesus' touch. Jesus in turn rebuked his disciples for hindering the children from coming. No doubt the disciples wanted to shield Jesus from the noisance of noisy children. But Jesus delighted in the children and demonstrated that God's love has ample room for everyone. No one is unimportant to God. He comes to each person individually that he might touch them with his healing love and power. Why does Jesus say that we must receive the kingdom of God like a child? In the ancient world, children were at the bottom of of the social ladder. They had no rights or privileges of their own, and they had no means or resources to care for themselves. They were totally dependent on their parents for everything they needed. Scripture teaches us that we are totally dependent on God as our eternal Father and Provider. We owe our very existence to Him because He is our Creator, Author, and sustainer of life. 
We could not find our way to God if he did not first seek us out and draw us to himself. That is why the Father in heaven sent his only begotten Son, the Lord Jesus, to show us the way to the Father. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may we never hinder our youth from coming to you to receive your blessing, help, and abundant life. Make our youth strong in faith, hope, and love, that they may find true joy and fulfillment in following you as their Lord and Savior. As we, and as we grow with age, may we never lose the childlike simplicity and humility which draws us ever deeper into your loving presence. Amen. Amen.